Hey, good morning. Welcome back to Seeking the Way. So we're making a video on Pamjability again. I just want to help you digest what's taking place over here. I know that most people would be on social media. You would have seen a lot of content showing you hundreds and thousands of people rushing to buy property here on Palm Jebelali. Now we did put a video out last week alerting our clients, explain to them what we've been seeing over the past three, four days in the soft launch and, and, and just demonstrating what's, what, what they should expect to take place on the launch day itself. By the end of that first official public launch, all the properties which were on these four fronts, so four out of 16, and all, all of the pro all the villas and, and, and most of the plots have been sold out. And even by the base standards, that is an incredible, incredible sales response. That's $6 billion of sales in like four days. So what I want to do in this video is just share what, you know, our observations are and what we saw that take place. And, uh, you know, maybe that will help you understand, you know, what the market saw and why these villas sold out so quickly. So now, of course, some people are going to have the opinion that this might be part of market hype. And of course, there is a hype for sure. It is an iconic project, obviously. Uh, but I think the other thing that the market quickly actually caught on to uh, is the fact that, uh, you know, the, the prices were actually quite interesting for Palm Jebel Ali. Uh, and, and so in this chart over here, what we're trying to do is give you a comparison of Palm Jebel Ali with other large villas and other large luxury villas that are in the market. And this list is only capped at around the 55 million dirham mark. Of course, there is a much larger market when you're looking at custom build or other exclusive type of properties. So here in Palm Jewelry, we had five, six, and seven bedroom villas. And here you can see their prices, their built up areas, plot sizes, and the prices per square foot and the land prices per square foot. So what we're trying to do in this chart is actually just give you like a back of the envelope type comparison. We're trying to bring things down to one single number and just show you what's been taking place in some of the trending communities and well-known communities of the Bay as well. And so what you quickly realize is that, you know, if you're just comparing Palm Jebel Ali to Palm Jumeirah, which is the most logical comparison, of course, you're going to see that the built up areas, the sizes of the houses are much, much larger. You're also going to find that the internal finish and the floor plans, obviously everything is upgraded. It's been 20 years. So everything gets better and better as things go along. So just Palm Jebel compares it with Palm Jumeirah, you can see that obviously people saw really good value. But if you compare Palm Jebel with other luxury or large villa communities in other parts of the Bay, you will also find that Palm Jebel is actually valued at a pretty fair at a pretty fair level. And the market can clearly see that, you know, when it comes to an iconic project like this, if you're thinking a bit long term and you are also thinking about the other elements that can come into place with Palm Jebel And of course, it's a trophy asset. So you build all that in the market quickly responded positively. To this kind of price point and that is the reason sales were so intense now how do you sell six billion dollars of real estate in in four days well it's not Nikhil's first palm so of course they have everything that they're doing now is an improvement and with Nikhil what you usually get especially when you're comparing it to other projects is on a built per square foot level built up area plot size level you're usually getting a lot more value it is a much more investor friendly real estate developer and the other thing when it came to the specific sales strategy of Palm Jebeli is that there wasn't any grand marketing. There was a discreet invitation sent out to VIPs and credit note holders, and, and they got the first chance to book. I think when the market first got wind of the kind of price points we're seeing in Palm Jebeli, there was a bit of initial skepticism. But over the preceding days, as sales started taking place, people had time to look at what was happening, and, and information started leaking from the, from the soft launch event. You know, that hype kind of built up over the weekend. We saw a lot of transactions take place. We, made, we pointed out in our video before the launch how we were clearly seeing like a real strong interest for these seven bedroom villas, especially. Uh, and then the sales event itself, there were thousands of people there and uh, it was not easy to, to purchase. And most clients were happy to just get allotted what they did, right? So they only had minutes to make decisions. So it's not an easy, calm purchase process when you're buying in a, in a project like Palm Jebel Ali. So that is just a quick commentary on the Palm Jebel Ali launch. And so we'll continue to try to make content where we're reporting on the market and we're giving our opinions and we're trying to break down things that will make it easier for you to understand what's taking place and what opportunities that might be there. So if you want to keep track of the market, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you'd like to discuss anything that is coming up on your screen right now, any of these communities, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can hit the description box, click the WhatsApp link, and uh, you know we'd absolutely love to connect with you. Thank you very much.